today, just this afternoon, I got the shipment of my new SLR 5700 Motorola Moto Turbo uh, repeater, a DMR repeater. And uh, this box here is the, the base station, the XPR 4550 radio, the DMR radio, that I will also be installing uh, right about there. So overall my goal is to temporarily take down my fusion repeater and uh, deploy the DMR SLR 5700 uh, on that frequency with my duplexer and uh, have it run on uh, a 50 watt continuous duty cycle in all digital mode. So that's my goal. I believe I have everything I need to get her up on the air. I have the uh, programming software, the required uh, license access from Motorola, and uh, also the required cable for my XPR 4550, uh, and, and so forth. So that's a quick update. I'll be right back. So here's the, the new Motorola XPR 4550, still in a very good, very good condition, almost like new. I got the, uh, the programming cable also to go with it because it, it requires a, a special programming cable that kind of goes in the, the microphone uh, jack right there. So that's uh, that cable right and uh, the power cord is here the microphone gear is there and of course the the mounting bracket so we will get this installed and powered up and we'll go from there I think one of the things in the back of the radio is uh, obviously the the connectors are are different compared to the 239 adaptable or compatible connectors so but uh, that's okay uh, I think we are in good shape so we'll get this all powered up and we'll go from there here's the SLR 5700 uh, just opened up the box here and uh, the box packaging is nothing fancy, I guess. Uh, not as uh, fancy as the Yesu Fusion Repeater packaging, but I think uh, I think there's nothing going on inside here other than the repeater, the power cord, and uh, some accessories here. So I'll take a look at that as to what that is, but. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, view before we get this opened up. Alright, so here's the SLR 5700. I uh, just pulled it up from the box. Uh, looks great, nice uh, looking unit. And uh, will be great to kind of get this all configured and up on the air it's a nice uh, slim looking unit it's a 1U dimension rack mountable unit although this doesn't come with the I don't know it might actually come with the mounting brackets I believe that's what that other box was I think it was uh, but anyways it's uh, nicely made looks good uh, I'll take a quick uh, view in the back of the repeater here here's the the view on the back of the repeater so looks fairly tightly packed uh, unit here so that that's a TX and uh, that's the RX I need to figure what that is. It says reference. I wonder what that is. But I'm I'm very new to DMR, but I know how the technology and how it works from a 
from a TDMA standpoint and uh, so this repeater is definitely new to me and uh, it'll definitely give me an opportunity to learn more about it but uh, that's a quick view so here I'm trying to get my grounding wire you know secured with the body of the uh, XPR4550 and one thing to note is the Motorola this Motorola radio uses a mini UHF uh, adapter or connector so uh, something that I don't have with me but I've uh, contacted a local uh, radio store so they said they have a they have one of them available so I'll probably use that tomorrow I should stop by their store tomorrow pick it up but uh, things are coming along well uh, slowly but surely I'm sure uh, but uh, this is the same uh, same type of a cable that I used for my other rig here uh, but it kind of fits really nicely with the side of the radio here. I'll be right back. So hey guys, uh, here's a quick view of the DMR repeater. And uh, getting it all plugged into my duplexer. Uh, so I have a shortage of some adapters and some cabling here. So I'm just trying to get some temporary wiring done just for me to test things out quick in low power. Uh, basically what's going on is the RX port is a, a BNC connector. This would be a BNC to LMR is what I'm looking for. I don't have that connector with me so for now I got a BNC to 259 and from there on to the to the LMR cable and the other end of this LMR is a N connector I'm using this for uh, a an interim solution for now I just installed the the grounding lug for the repeater I want to do something similar to the duplexer but I'm gonna wait on that I want to do some more read up on this I don't want to mess with this now until I know that um, you know it is uh, it is okay to do that so I will take a look at that later everything else is pretty straightforward given that this will be my um, connected to a C bridge um, the port one is hooked up uh, to my LAN port and that will be connected to my router or firewall whatever so we'll go from there Hey guys, so here's another quick view of where the DMR repeater will sit. Right now my Fusion is currently powered off and uh, I will keep her powered up, uh, powered off rather, till I get my second 70 centimeter coordination. The 442175 will now switch over to the DMR repeater and the duplexer is connected up to the uh, DMR repeater uh, for now so that's a quick view I will now be programming the repeater uh, through the CPS software and then have it join um, John Birmingham's uh, Seabridge uh, K4 USD and uh, that's Kilo 4 Uniform Sierra Delta uh, John Birmingham. So this repeater will join his Seabridge uh, from a DMR uh, infrastructure standpoint. So that's a quick view. I'll be right back. Hey guys, here's the, the view of the repeater running up and running. I just configured 
the repeater using the uh, Motorola CPS software for the repeater and uh, this repeater is now joined with the K4 USD Kilo for Uniform Sierra Delta's uh, Seabridge, John Birmingham's uh, Seabridge and uh, she's up and running now in all digital mode in full 50 watts and uh, I'll keep uh, monitoring the traffic and how she's performing over the course of next few uh, weeks here and I'll report back. Um, I will be I will need to go to the local radio store here and grab a uh, a mini UHF adapter or a pigtail adapter for this radio. I'm not able to test uh, this right now but once I hook up the the antenna using that mini UHF I should be able to test the traffic and whatnot. But for now, for tonight, I think the repeater is up and running and uh, she's, uh, she's live right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is N0AGI um, and uh, we'll, we'll talk soon.